Welcome back to Real Life Fishing, everybody, and happy 4th of July. Uh, in this video, no, we are not going to talk about beer, but in sticking with the, uh, the bourbon theme. So we've got some uh, Kentucky Bourbon Barrel Ale here from uh, Lexington Brewery, or Lexington Brewing, rather. Um, good stuff. Little, little high test, but uh, I like it. So what is it that we're going to talk about then? Uh, today we're going to talk about trailering. Um, <clears throat> so there's a few things that uh, I want to talk about. So the first is, you know, you guys have seen my Altera uh, several times, but this is what it looks like when it's being trailered. Um, it's got a cover on it, right? What, what's that all about? What, what's with the cover? Um, so the cover is because, uh, as it turns out, I didn't have that on there when I, uh, when I first got the rig. And up here in Wisconsin, we fish a lot of small little lakes, and I drug it down a whole mass of dirt roads. Um, and what happened, so this cover though, it's got these posts that go in the, the hole there, you see. So let me pop this off, and I'll show you what happened. <clears throat> there we are. So Alteras have this mechanism here, right? That's what locks the, the motor when you deploy it and stow it and all that kind of thing, right? They, they lock in there. So that got gummed up with dirt from me dragging it down the road. And uh, it deployed just fine, but it wouldn't come back up. You know, here's the, the lugs that lock into there, right? So I couldn't get it to unlock and come back up. Um, so we were out on the lake. I ended up pouring a, a bottle of water on it and rinsing it a little bit. You know, I saw what happened and got it back up. So went online right away and um, found this thing on Amazon. Uh, don't recall who makes, excuse me, who makes it, but uh, it was like, I don't know, 130 bucks or something. Uh, works great. I have not had another single problem ever since. Uh, so get one. Um, I asked a couple other things about the trolling motor here while we've got this up, is uh, this Ninja grass blade. Um, I stuck that on there, oh, I don't know month or so ago maybe uh it's supposed to keep weeds off your trolling motor right as the as the trolling motor spins right that's a, a sharp blade there right so as the trolling motor spins any weeds or line that get wrapped around it the idea is that uh that they get cut there um i i haven't had any weeds on there so i guess it works pretty well right uh in another episode uh you guys saw i had a a wrench in the the rod locker uh, and I said that I didn't need that for changing trolling motor props anymore. Uh, so this thing here, um, this is made by TH Marine. Um, I forget what they call it. Uh, there you go. Eliminator, apparently. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, it's, eh, they bill it as some kind of harmonic balancer or some nonsense or other to, you know, eliminate vibration on your, in your trolling motor prop. Uh, to be honest, if your trolling motor prop is vibrating, uh, you either need to get your trolling motor fixed or you need to put a new prop on it because the prop is screwed up. Um, the reason I got it, though, is because um, you can just grab this thing and, you know, if you hold the, the prop stationary. Here, let me. There. So you can just unscrew it with one hand. Well, I mean, not with one hand. I suppose you got to hold the prop, but you can unscrew it while you're on the water. You don't need any tools. So if you need to change the trolling motor prop while you're on the water... Um, you can just unscrew that thing and you're all set. Uh, so next, um, winch, right? Need a winch on your boat. Um, I replaced the factory one that was on here with this Fulton F2. Uh, you see this, uh, the handle is popped out, right? You push it in. So you got high speed and low speed. Uh, that's really nice. Makes getting the, the boat out of the water a lot easier, you know, winching it up onto the trailer. So, um, also got that from Amazon, and I don't recall how much that was. I think it was around 100 bucks, give or take. Um, next important thing about a, a trailer, though, for me anyway, is a swing tongue. Um, otherwise, this thing would not fit in my garage. Um, I suppose maybe on the diagonal, but then it would take up all kinds of room and, and just can't have that, right? So try and get a swing tongue on your trailer if you can. Um, next up is, see my harness there? It's got uh, six wires going to it uh, instead of the, uh, the four or five that most of you might be familiar with. Um, so the reason for that is that uh, my trailer 
has reverse lights. Didn't realize how big of a deal that was. This is my, my first boat with it. And uh, I didn't order this trailer. I just uh, picked it up from the, from the dealership. You know, I bought it and whatever. But um, in comparing it to, to Buddy's trailers and, and so forth, uh, those reverse lights make a, a tremendous amount of difference. Um, you know, I even noticed them right away, actually, uh, you know, because my, my previous boats did not have uh, reverse lights on them. And so it makes retrieving at night a lot easier. You know, you can see where the back end of the trailer is a lot easier when it's lit up, you know, lights up the road white or the, you know, lights up the launch white instead of just red, right? Um, so next up though <clears throat> is uh, a spare tire, right? So you'll you'll see that mine is welded onto the trailer frame, but uh, uh, not all of them are like that. Some of them have bolt-on um, spare tire brackets. If you don't have one, get one. A buddy bought his boat used uh, the, the guy that owned it kept it in the water all the time, only used the trailer twice a year to take it in or uh, to take it out and put it in. Uh, otherwise, it just sat. So that guy didn't have a spare tire, so there was no bracket. Uh, he was cheap when he ordered the thing from the dealership, wanted to save a few bucks, whatever. So my buddy ended up having to buy a bracket. Um, make sure you got one of those. Uh, next, see I got these, uh, these traction slicks on the, on the trailer. Uh, so these were made by, I believe, Gator Skins uh, makes those, I think. But um, they're waterproof, uh, super, super sticky adhesive. And you just slap those on there and uh, they don't come off. And then you can walk on the trailer without worrying about slipping and falling into the lake. So, um, but we'll, uh, we'll definitely keep this one under, under 10 minutes here. Those are the, the big things I wanted to show you guys today. So uh, enjoy your fourth. Go and drink some beer or drink some bourbon and uh, burn some meat and don't blow yourselves up and uh, we'll see you next time.